nine thirteen. Um, on my last day in Sentu, actually I'm taking a flight over to Macau later. So, my flight is at four p.m. I'm gonna leave the hotel by twelve, or earlier. I don't know. I'm really scared of the unforeseen circumstances when traveling. So right now I'm just gonna go and explore a Panda Cafe. And hopefully I can come back by 11.30 to 11.45 to check out. So stay young. I have arrived. I came to this shop specifically for this one. So cute. I saw the site open at 9.30 but over here it says 10 though. So I mean, I don't have any more stuff in the inside. I just came for the panda. I've arrived at my destination after a long ass walk to this China post. I think this is like a panda concept store. And <laughs> restaurant. Real concept where you can write letter to your future self. So many flashies. Let's go to the cafe and bistro. Currently, I'm in a panda concept restaurant called Panda Post. As you can see, <laughs> even if you die alone, you have a friend, and you scan the QR to order the food. Um, 
right now it's about 10 17 the food is not ready so you can only order drinks and dessert so i got a drink and a cake and the app we have scanned via wechat so this is the thing that i wanted not bad there's like a mini post museum concept and a panda shop panda souvenir shop downstairs but I think I don't know maybe because I walked very long for 10 to 15 minutes so it feels a little bit hot I don't see any aircon only the window beside me so this is my table we have a friend to eat with me and then the window and there's like many many seats to sit over here and over there let's try the jasmine soda drink I think it's because I didn't mix the lychee Not bad Okay, I got my lychee um, product and a pen that chiffon cake Similar to the fluffy cheesecake, cheesecake kind of texture, and there's this crunch from steam. Mm. No bad. I like it. This meal is fifty six remaining. I'll give it a. Eight over ten. It is on the AC, by the way. No wonder it was hot just now. <laughs> It's currently 11.30. I'm gonna check out from my hostel after coming back from the panda pools. I took DT, 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 uh, car to come back about one click plus for 10 ish yuan. I was so fascinated by their car because in Singapore, like or Malaysia, the, the door handle is at the usual spot. Or sometimes it's at a window. But just now I was looking for the door handle. I was like, it's not on the window. At first it wasn't at the usual area. Then I look at the window also, don't know. Then I look now again, it's there. So I think apparently it's something like it will only be visible when the driver opens the door. Which was like damn fascinating to me. <laughs> This like China technology are like so advanced. So now I'm gonna make my way to the airport and hopefully I'm gonna be on time because I'm very very early now. It's like eleven thirty. My flight is four o'clock. Should be more than enough. I'm gonna take the train instead of the bus because the bus, even though it takes you straight to the airport, it doesn't even guarantee me a spot to to be on the bus if the bus is full. I might as well take the train even though I have to change like three times. So we shall see what time we reach the airport and check in, do all the necessary stuff. See ya! Okay, it's currently 1.07. I'm back to this spot again for my flight to Macau. I'm early because my flight is 4pm. If my flight didn't read time, I would have already be in Macau now. But, oh well. What can I do? Go and check in. Let's check the check-in area. Actually, what's it? It's a air bar. There is like flight information. This, but 
what do I do? Do I just like wait because there's nobody? <laughs> I don't think Air Macau is open. It's 1.15 right now. Maybe I'll just go down and check out the 7 <laughs> Eleven. Then I'll come back. Maybe find a seat. I mean, the reason why I came on this is because I heard the immigration can get very crowded and the queue can get very bad. But what can I do? Even the yeah, 7 Eleven got 10 hours. <laughs> Tastes very fatty and oily, but soft. Not bad. But I think the one in Taiwan is nicer because it's like a different style. Mm. Okay. I just done my chicken. <laughs> uh, the check-in lady asked me. I think she asked me if I want one hour window seat. She said something like "cao chuang" or "mian." Mian something. That was like obviously I prefer outside so I can get out earlier. But what is outside man? Kao Chang just a window ma. You just put your kao chang. Just jump na ka na ka mian mian something. Yes, I got a seat seventeen D. Hopefully um it's not too far back and the person sitting next to me is okay. We are going to go into the departure gate and to know find toilet, go and eat something because I just had the sausage. I just finished with my boarding process. I feel like the immigration process is always kind of stressed. Currently, it's two twenty-six. I think I want to eat something by three o'clock. Then I will walk towards the boarding gate. Mm -hmm. I had their egg tart yesterday, it was really nice, so I got that game. And I got milk tea, supposedly with pearl, but I think they ran out, so they got, they gave me a popcorn, not gave, I think replaced. And a zinger crispy burger for 46 yuan. My KFC, not bad. I finished everything. It was a very filling. I think I should have more than enough time to walk towards the gate because it's about one hour away from boarding. Let's go and see. Just came from the back and I look over to the plane side. 113 is over there. <laughs> It's gonna be a long walk. I have arrived in Macau. Currently, it's 7:42. The flight is delayed by a little bit, but I'm just trying to find my way into the city. I found my way to their 
LRT. Um, it's not very obvious, but I just went with my instinct and look up. Yeah, so I bought a token via the counter because the cash only accept uh, Macau money. So now we are taking the LRT to Stadium Station. Then we will walk to the hotel from there. Okay, it's currently 8.28 I will check in into my Macau hotel for one night I will be flying back to Singapore tomorrow around 6 p.m. So let's do a room tour. I got a room in the old, like old Taipa street. If I'm not wrong, there is some food surrounding here. But I do not have any Hong Kong dollar or any Macau money. I just have a cart and room in B. So I really need to go to a place that actually charges cart because I got no money. So this is the entrance. We got a big bed window tv um cups some basic amenities chair a luggage rack what is this oh wardrobe some drawer um we got the toilet standing shower uh toilet and a mirror I got this room for about 70 each dollar a night. I took the LRT just now and passed by all the famous hotels. Parisian, Venetian, some, some palace, whatever. I felt a bit regretful that I did not book one of the hotels for one night. Because the price point is leaning a little bit towards high. And I didn't want to spend money unnecessarily. Because as you can see, I'm here like late at night already. But it looks so nice from outside, so glamorous. But I feel like it would be easy to walk around that area to find restaurants. But here they've got a lot of like street restaurants also. So let's go out and see, and hopefully I can eat in a place where they charge us card. And just take a walk along the night view, and this is what I want to do tomorrow. But tomorrow main point will be to go to the Harry Potter exhibition. But I also have to check out by eleven a.m. So I'll probably have to check out first, then go and do my thing. Let's go and explore the old street and find something to eat. It's quite happening at night. Shall we? Beef. More beef. So it's like all like street food. Sweet. I'm just gonna settle my dinner here. This one at a random restaurant next to my hotel. I had a little bit of problem getting this because my Alipay WeChat Pay doesn't work. They do not accept card and there's no cash and go. But luckily, I had some remedy left that I could pay for this. with soup and a jasmine lemon tea.
this coconut jelly from a famous like ice cream stall that I think they are famous for their durian ice cream but I'm a Malaysian man why do I want to eat durian ice cream in Macau? so I got their coconut jelly I couldn't go through which at Alipay so I used touch and go luckily they allowed touch and go and you know how much is this? like look at the size look at my hand just a coconut jelly 15 ringgit it better be good <laughs> so why my be? I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna walk towards the Venetian and see the light even though it's kinda of late now mm -hmm. not nice there it's like more of the santan taste I don't like it I think my mom does it better yes 15 ringgit you can do like multiple pots you see don't buy I'm not gonna eat this yes. I had my dinner I'm just gonna walk towards the nation as advised by the people who stay here have a look because this is the only night I have in Macau tomorrow I'll have to leave this area by tree something so I can't get the night view so I have to see today and hopefully I can encounter an ATM I should have done so just not in there draw out some money for the sake of my <laughs> anxiety heart of not having cash taking a walk up the Taipa street to go to Venetian to see the light or see casino <laughs> see they're all like closed already it's amazing to see parks but being surrounded by high-rise building high-rise lighted building well, at least this aspect makes walking better than Chengdu because hmm, some part of Chengdu, especially the park area, is like darkness. Even though they have this kind of street lamp that's not on. So I don't know, is it like a norm or something? Even though it's a public usage place. There's travel later. This makes it much easier to walk I guess you see they are literally surrounded by big hotels everywhere do they really receive so much tourists a year to have so many hotels after a long walk through the park we have arrived at Venetian Ooh, I want to go and see the Londoner which is right behind it we have Galaxy Parisian Venetian hey, I think tomorrow the Harry Potter exhibition is somewhere here Wow, it's currently 10.20 The shops are still open Is it like a 24 hours entertainment? Please. It's currently 10 36. The Venetian still give you an illusion that <laughs> it's daytime. This one 10 36 pm. It's like a city that never sleeps. It's worth the two kilometer walk. <laughs> we'll go up level five for the Parisian experience. I finally got some Macau money for the sake of my sanity. <laughs> I draw 300, which is about $50. Just buy one for my one day here in case nothing works. Nothing wireless works.
seriously do not know where you can get the best view of the Eiffel Tower but I'm just gonna be here I follow the crowd come here and take photo <laughs> Yogi view no much wonder. Wow. You see. Oh. I'm actually very tired, but cheers to my guys. Even though it's just one day. It's currently 12 10 a.m. I'm still on my way back to the hotel. <sighs> so tiring, but surprisingly, it's okay. Eh? Like, there's still some restaurant opening for people to dine and some pharmacy, and you still see people, so it's not so scary. You see, the pharmacy is open. We got delivery rider behind, got two restaurants. So bad. We have like rider, people buying drink, jogger. It's currently 12:40 a.m. I just sat down in my hotel room. I think this trip really tested my endurance in terms of like my tie chafing from the hot weather and like the endless walking. I really, really endured it. Like, I didn't take a lot of private transport because I can't quite figure out or I don't have the right method of payment. You see my steps. I just sat down, right? So yesterday's step is 23,141, which is 15.7 click. And then I just sat down means whatever you're seeing today, right? Right now, this... 1,171 is Tuesday equivalent because I just sat down so I literally walked for maybe 24,000 steps for yesterday as in Tuesday for a little bit of Chengdu and the Macau I was so tired in the mall because I can't find an exit that I just wanted to give up, like take a taxi. Even when I managed to find the exit, right, I still have to walk through a park before I reach my hotel. So tomorrow, I feel like I really don't want to push it and like go crazy around Macau. So I might just wake up, shower, go and have brunch at the cafe that I've missed during dinner because I came to check in a little bit late about 8.30 and they're closing at 9 so obviously I cannot do dinner so tomorrow I'm gonna do brunch then I'm gonna go and I don't know maybe eat like the famous egg tart and drink the milk tea here apparently lah and then I'm gonna make my way to the London Hotel to watch the Harry Potter exhibition you know like walking around so aimlessly around the mall that is like so active even at night makes me realize that I should have splurged a little more and just stay inside the London hotel so that I don't have to struggle too much like I should have made this Taipa O Street a daytime itinerary so I don't struggle so much with the luggage and the planning for tomorrow anyway I was thinking of taking taxi to London it's only one kilometer by the way but if I were to walk I'm going through a lot of obstacles like staircase and like the park like what do you call that pavement like rocks that kind with like a 12 13 kilo luggage I think it's a very tiring thing and Walking is only visible when it's like night time But when it's daytime, it's fucking hot, okay? Regardless if you are in Macau, China, Malaysia, Singapore Unless it's winter or something Yeah, so we shall see What am I gonna end up doing tomorrow 
but definitely the cafe in the Harry Potter is a must. It's just whether I will add anything in between. Or we can just make Macau another trip in the future. I don't know man, I don't really want to keep repeating places, but I'm only here for a day. Yeah, and actually Macau is quite small. There isn't like too much to view to be honest. It's basically just like high-end shopping, eating, um, taking photos in casino. That's the only thing that that's the only vibe I feel out of Macau. So we shall see how.